Hello friends, and as you can see, I've had a little bit of a challenging time in the last few days, but nothing's gonna hold us down, and we've learned, if nothing else, in these times of isolation and quarantine that we are so fortunate in so many ways, and that we need to rise above the struggles and rise above the challenges. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. And yoga, the true point of yoga is adaptability and learning to bend so you don't break and learning new, uh, ironic, but learning ways to deal with the challenges, breathing, calm, staying calm, knowing that things are ever changing, ever moving, and it's our ability to deal with things as they come towards us and keep that positive light shining and keep the focus on regaining that balance and regaining that strength. And so this is just a challenge accepted. So I'll be just fine. So join with me right now. I thought we could do a little balance work. Haha. <laughs> and also just a general warrior one. So a little balance flow into a warrior one to celebrate the strength that is still there. And look for me in the times coming up. We're gonna have lots of modifications, obviously. Not gonna be doing any arm balances on my hands anytime soon. And so, let's all just come to our mat. It's nice and cool outside. You can enjoy that second wave of comfort food. And, and I've been so fortunate with so many friends. I'm now on a, on a meal train because I'll be getting some surgery to straighten those fingers out. And, I am so fortunate, so I know this. And so we're just gonna work on regaining our balance today. So with a mind towards caring for yourself always, whatever needs to be cared for on your body today, absolutely do that. But I'm gonna stand in that nice tall mountain pose. Your feet can be hip distance or together. Just make sure that you're in that nice tall yoga position. We're yoking our breath, our body, and our spirit. Yoga means to yoke. That's what it is. It's not exercise. It's not aerobics. It's not challenging yourself to turn yourself into a pretzel. It's yoking your body, your mind, and your spirit. And this is what we do every time we step onto the mat, and it's what we want to take into the world when we step off. So from that nice tall mountain position with that belly gently tucked, breathing deep all the way down to the belly, all the way up to that crown of the head, which is attached to the heavens above by that golden thread, standing nice and tall. I'm gonna find something not moving to gaze at and really focus on roots growing out of that right side. And I'm gonna just gently pick up my left knee. And if you like, you can stand here and you're again, you're nice and tucked in that belly button, that heart is high. And make sure you're not gripping the ground with those right toes. It's not going to help you stay any more balanced to just clench and cling and dog, dog on it, I'm not falling. Just find yourself just gently relaxing those toes, even pick them up a little bit. Make that whole foot work for you into the earth. You'll find that it really stabilizes you. And if you like, you can press that heel forward. That leg is straight out in front of you. Now, granted, you're going to get some massive glute work there. And you can always have like a counter, a kitchen counter or a chair just to be there, just in case, and it's okay to wobble. Be in a safe place so that you know that you can step out of it and be okay. And then if you like, you can drop that knee down, and we're just gonna press that leg out behind us, straight out, and we're gonna fly. We're soaring above all of our challenges and all of our issues, and then we can drop down. We're lining up into that warrior position so those heels are right behind each other. That rear foot's in about 45 degrees. And as we bend that front knee, just open that heart to the sky. And breathe. Breathe in that strength. Activate those fingers towards the sky. You can have both hands up if you like. I'm just gonna tenderly care for the left. The active fingers inviting energy and strength down. And then you can bring both hands to the heart. Step forward into that mountain pose and just relax and breathe. Re-establishing balance. Re-establishing, opening ourselves to strength and 
growth and adapting and always bending, going with that flow of life, the challenges and the joys, and being able to find the joy even in the challenges. So let's start with that other side. Feel roots really growing out of that left foot. Find something, not moving. Gently pick up that right knee. If you like, you can press that right foot straight forward. Hold it out there as long as you can. Keeping that core tucked and make sure you're not locking in that standing leg knee. And then just here at, with that knee up, whoop, giving yourself grace, always returning. And then pressing behind you and soar, soar above all the problems, stronger. Each time you pick yourself up, you're stronger. And then press back, sinking that heel down. And again, I'm just gonna guard my arm. You can bring both hands up high as you come into that warrior. That front knee is bent. It's right out of the center of your feet. That rear foot is strong, powerful into the earth, heart open. Fingers active towards the sky. Feel triumphant in your gaze. Feel steady and strong in your breath and relaxed and calm, breathing deep into that belly. And then gently step forward, bring it in that mountain, relax and release. It's the action of moving through a couple of balance poses that really activates that core as well. So I'll just stand and bring up a knee, bring it out to the side. Press my, try to not kick the chair. Press my foot out to the side. Bring it forward. Bring it back. Press it straight back behind me. Nice and slow. Just going through different kinds of balance. Staying on that one foot. You know, you can come into your tree. Making sure you're not pressing against the inside of your standing leg knee, but just finding that balance. Reestablishing it. You're building core, you're building strength, you're doing the yoga work. And then on that opposite side, always balancing out. I'll be doing lots of balance work in the times to come. And life is always gonna be throwing you those challenges. And it's about the act of rising to those challenges, finding strength in them, finding joy from them. Finding the opportunity to bring it to the mat, grow from it, and then step off of that mat and bring that light into the world. That light that shines in me, it honors that light shining in every one of you. Stay well, stay strong, stay balanced, and keep yoking body, mind, and spirit. I honor you all. Namaste.